second morning here in Boracay and we are on our way to what are we gonna do Dave? We're gonna go parasailing. We're gonna do parasailing. Okay, they, they there's they're gonna go parasailing. I'm not. Monica are gonna go parasailing. No all so it's just it's just gonna be David, Sophie, Layla and Julia. So this is our second morning here. We hit a lot of coffee shops yesterday and did a lot of photos and it's been a real good time but we're only halfway our ride to the water sports already here so I think we're gonna go. picked up from our hotel and we were taken to the spot like around five minutes away from our hotel station to into this little alley where we're gonna be made to sign waivers and settle our fees uh, it's very it's very systematic very organized I think there's uh, higher charges for foreigners compared to locals so that's well and good let the dollars flow and the ones flow. <laughs> so we're settling fees now. Uh, let's ask. Uh, so how do you feel before you go up in the sky? Is your tummy tumbling? Are you nervous? Yeah, because I did it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> out the ocean. oh no! That <laughs> is nervous. How about you, Nikki? Are you nervous before you fly? Because you're not flying. Okay, okay. How about you, Dave? Are you nervous? Uh, a bit, not really. Bit. <laughs> How about you, So? Are you nervous? Wow. Yeah. Are you going up also? No. Why? I don't know. Why not? I don't want to stress myself on my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday! I'm here to enjoy it. Okay. Cinema roll, are you flying too? No, why? Pom pom porin, are you flying too? No. Baby stay in the boat. Ata's excited, she said. Excited much? See?
After the exhilarating morning parasailing on the coast of Boracay, we decided to simply laze around the different beachfronts along the main front of the island. With its powdery sand, cool, clear waters, shallow coastline, and the unending manongs who offer you paddle boards for rent, it's the perfect beach for a family like ours. There's cafes for the older girls, water activities for the older kids, and the perfect sand to build sandcastles for the little one. Commercialized as it may be, but the beaches of Boracay still remain stops for being family friendly. Oh, he fell. That's just sad. <laughs> Kinda of sad to see. As the sun sets and another day of frolicking in the beaches of Boracay ends, take the time to admire the beautiful sights that this setting gives. The colors given off by the setting sun, the numerous people who still know to admire nature's wonders, sweethearts taking selfies in the glow the sunset bestows, the many families enjoying quality time together, the small boats heading home signaling what is hopefully a joyous return to their families after a long day's work. Whatever your drift may be, you have a place on the beaches of Boracay. But just don't come during peak weekends or holidays. It can get a little too crowded for comfort. After a very long day, we finished our day just gadgeting in the hotel. While mom and dad and the Ates went out to get some coffee and dessert, at Cha -Cha's. This is a very fun day. I enjoyed myself in the beach and I will be back for more. So just to share a little bit more about our parasailing experience, I must say it's quite the adventure. I must say it's also quite worth it. You know, I did not go up there. Uh, I think I did that the last time that we were there uh, six years ago. Having fear of heights, I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> but I will recommend that for anybody else out there who has not done it yet. You know, parasailing in Boracay is a must try. Take it from someone who's got a fear of heights. I say, you know, I've already tried it and it's like paradise up there. When you're in Boracay, you gotta try it. But also, it's quite the fees as well. You know, to try parasailing, it's anywhere between 850 to 1,350 pesos. It's quite the range, right? But it depends on who you're gonna be talking to. You know, maybe it depends on their mood, maybe it depends on the time of the day, if they met their quota. But for us, as per our experience, I think you can say that that's quite the range i'll just put it at that if you get the prices anywhere between that range i'd say that's a pretty good deal for the foreigners though i'm not quite sure how much they charge but i guess i'm sharing this for the fees for the locals that already includes pickup shuttle to and fro your hotel uh, the boat fees and again you know with anything in the philippines you know tipping is encouraged i believe that with good service there should come good tipping, right? <laughs> 
So anyway, so just to share a little bit about our personal experience that day, uh, the weather was not perfect, you know, and because the weather was not perfect, just like what you heard probably in the video, there was a low pressure area, as Lei had said, and so it affected the sea. And when the sea is affected, waves follow. So when we launched out, everything was okay. It seemed like everything was normal. When you launch out from the shore and the speedboat gathers uh, speed and it's it seems like it's okay but once you're in the spot where you're supposed to launch your first pair up into the skies you know the the boat slows down almost to a standstill and when it slows down because it needs to pause to get everybody ready to be sent up that's when you feel the boat being rocked by the, by the waves. In our case, since there was a low pressure area somewhere, the waves were not friendly that day. It wasn't a glass sea, you know, it wasn't that kind of uh, a sea or ocean. So you could say it was quite a challenge for somebody who has motion sickness. But even though the boat gets quite tossed, you know, I mean, you gotta just suck it up because everybody else is having fun, right? But I just wanted to throw it out there because somebody might need that to take that into consideration. So, after the boat gets quite tossed, you know, well, for your sake, hopefully you have better weather when you try this, right? Because once you get up there, it's way better up there. Wow. You don't actually feel the way that you're being rocked while you're in the boat up there when you're sailing oh man it's it's like what i said it's just paradise right like you got no problems in the world you're carefree just looking around and it feels like you're just gliding under some mysterious power holding you up but so good it is so good there so around 15 minutes uh is the parasailing duration and how it goes is that the boat, the speedboat, zooms from one end of the area all to the all the way to the other's end. So it zooms, probably if I remember right, uh, riding with the wind, not against the wind. So it zooms so fast from one side, like from one end of the island to the other end of the island. And it zooms and once it gets to where it's supposed to be on the other side, it slowly turns so that it could face the wind. So now it's facing against the wind. And what it does is that it slows down to allow the wind to be caught by the, the parasail, right? The, the parachute up there. So, and then it slows down. It slows down so slow that you will really feel the boat being rocked as it moves forward. And that's where, you know, it wasn't a pleasant experience for me and for my youngest. You didn't see it there in the, the video because it was probably too much for Monique. You know, I didn't want to show her getting scared. Having said that, mad props to the boatmen and the captain, you know, doing their fair share of keeping us calm by assuring us that all is well, right? So they do that to make sure that you are enjoying and you keep your eyes on your family or your friends who's up there enjoying themselves not knowing that you're literally getting terrified in the boat because of you being rocked now you know if you got no motion sickness this is not an issue honestly you know like my second uh, daughter just totally enjoyed herself you know like she was dancing on the boat and she was going back and forth keeping her eye on her mom and her brother up there just enjoying you know like she had no clue how terrified i was so that's great right to each his or her own but i thought i'd share a little bit of that even though i said all that uh you know to try this adventure is so worth it in baraka Especially if you have no fear of heights, I think I'd do it again and again. But that's not me, because I got fear of heights, right? I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully we were able to add, you know, to your experience and encourage you to try out some of the things that we tried out in Barakai, and including parasailing. Right? So. We hope to see you in our last video coming up and that's gonna be in a week so don't forget to like and subscribe
every subscription and like really helps us. So again, thank you for watching. This is Mon, Team Diarmas, out.